It's almost the weekend, and if you're looking for something fun to do, of course, there are plenty of events happening across the state. And this morning with CT Visit, we are checking in with Anthony Anthony from the Connecticut Department of Economic and Community Development. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning, Symphony. Yeah, you're a first timer here on Fox 61. We're glad to have you. Great to have be here as well. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get the ball rolling. Um, like we said, there's a lot to get to. Uh, first up, there is a Connecticut Open House Day, and this is happening happening all across the state, right? All across the state. We have 217 unique arts, culture, uh, and tourism destinations who've opened their doors at reduced or free admission. Oh, uh, okay. 217 is a record, so we're really excited to f that so many people are participating. So you can do a variety of things, anywhere from uh, going to Two Roads Brewing, which is giving out uh, tours and free tasters, Ooh. or you can go make your own chocolates at uh, Fascist Chocolates and Waterberry. Uh, you know, anything from uh, food, culture, uh, you know, typical museums just mm -hmm. opening their doors, like right here in Hartford, the Connecticut Science Center is giving out admission tickets for uh, uh, kids' prices for nice. everybody all day long. Oh, awesome. Yep. I love visiting a good museum. There's nothing like <laughs> so it. So it's going to be a good Nothing deal. like it. <laughs> all right, and up next, the International Festival of Arts and Ideas. So that sounds pretty interesting. What's unfolding there? Arts and Ideas is, a, is an arts and culture festival over the course of a little over two weeks, 16 days. Uh, you know, dozens and dozens of acts mm -hmm. right in the heart of New Haven. And it's anything from uh, music and performing arts to plays, actual talks. So you're getting a really good taste of, of a variety of things and people, you know, whether you, um, you're interested in the musical piece or just want to get some of the, uh, the, the thought leadership from different people out there in the arts and culture world, it's a fantastic way to do that. Awesome, awesome. Okay, up next, and I'm really excited about this one because I missed out on it last year, the Hartford Taste Festival. Downtown, uh, it's going to smell so good. Oh, it's going to be delicious. <laughs> delicious. So, yes, 30 different vendors from around the Hartford area. Free admission for everybody out there. Mm -hmm. You buy tokens, so it's not overly oh, okay. expensive. You can taste a little bit of everything. But what's really interesting about it, you have 30 different musical acts in two different stages. So, again, free to come in, go listen to the music, taste a little something, and enjoy uh, downtown Hartford. Alrighty, now um, we do have to wrap up in just a bit, but we can quickly go over the Connecticut Sea Music Festival. Where is that happening? That's happening down in Essex. Okay. And you're getting maritime music, so uh, sea shanties and whatnot. It's a little bit of a different taste, a little different type of music than uh, you know what's popular culture right now. It's, uh, I think it's something that uh, gives you a unique taste of what's happening in the state. Yeah. All righty. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Anthony, Anthony, if you just happened to tune in and you didn't catch all of that, don't worry. We've got all the deets on our website over at fox61.com. Plenty to get to this weekend.